Okay, so I'm about ready to paint. I have a glass cutting board here that I'm going to use to put my neo colors on. I'm going to uh, color onto the glass and then use it uh, as a palette that I'm going to pick my color up from with my wet, wet brushes. Sometimes it goes on too thick with these and if you color straight on the paper uh, it can leave marks, especially since I didn't gesso first, which for just straight watercolors I wouldn't. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my colors on my palette. You can reapply it as you need it. Um, let's see, I'm using, uh, what color is this, gold, gold, golden ochre. <laughs> this is some kind of mint, jade. Uh, flesh, black, this is mauve, light green, and this one is crimson alizarin. Okay, I'm going to scooch that over so you can see what I'm doing here. The first thing I'm going to do is the background. I'm going to use the golden ochre and do the entire background with that and this is a number, I think it's a number it's a number 10 uh, watercolor, it's a round brush I'm going to try to keep my paper pretty wet while I do this because I'm going to go back in with another color And if you get some on the girls, it's not that big a deal. It wipes up pretty good, and you can cover it with the other colors pretty well. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to do this half real quick. I'm going to take the... Alizarin Crimson. I'm going to load my brush up and I'm just going to make some some dots. It'll kind of make like flowers in the background. And you can add a little more water if you want bigger ones. Still a little, a little dry there, so I'll go ahead and re-wet that. Still got a little pink in my brush. Okay, so I'll come back in with the crimson and add some. Okay, and I'll do the other side. Just still trying to keep it pretty wet. Make sure you're using good watercolor paper, otherwise uh, blending is not going to be fun. It just doesn't blend well when you have, you know, junky watercolor paper. Okay, so... Okay, and I'll add some to here. A little dry there. There's a little more yellow in there. Okay, so the background's done. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll go on to the girls. 
Okay, so this is mostly dry. I'm going to take uh, my wet paintbrush and wet the arms down and then take a paper towel and just uh, sop up the color that got onto the arms. You don't have to do a ton, just a, the darker, darker bits. You can see I tried it here and it spread while, when it was still wet, so it's good to wait till it's dry. And it doesn't really matter uh, on the dress or the hair too much. Okay, so you can hear my kids in the background playing in the pool. Okay, so next color. And just so you can see whoop, what I'm doing, I'm wetting my brush and then wetting the color and then picking up what I need from here. Okay, so we'll start on their little faces. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, being brothers. So nice to each other. Okay, so I'm just kind of coloring in her face and leaving spots that I want to be white. Not, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, down the center of her nose and her cheeks, I kind of left, left a little bit white. And I'll go in again a little bit thicker with the paint where I want it to be darker around her eyelids around the edges I'll go ahead and do her neck and her arm I'm using a number four round brush for the skin. So we'll go ahead and keep uh, coloring the skin. And we'll work on her. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the first one. Okay, so now that I've got all the skin colored, I'm going to add some, um, I think I'll add some of the jade color. I like to add a little bit of extra color. That way the face isn't so flat. And the skin... Oh. a little bit under the arms for shading, under the neck, chin, under the nose, and I think I'll go ahead and give, give them a jade color eyes. You can do different colored eyes. I'm just going to make them all the same. Whoop. That one's still a little wet. And it bled. That's okay. Okay. Let's 
We'll be careful on that one. Okay, I'm gonna add some more jade to that, and I've rinsed out my brush so I can pick up some of that color so it's not so dark. Since these, these faces are so small, I'm not going to do a ton of detail on them. And if you get too much, you can always go back in with a clean brush and pick up some of the color. spread out a little bit and I'll pick up some right there pick up a little bit in her neck and I'm pulling the water out with my uh, fingers so there's not too much water and it pulls some of the color back out of it also okay and spread that out a little bit. Okay, next I think I'll do some cheeks and I'm going to use the Al is it Alizarin? Alizarin Crimson and I'm going to take a little bit and put some on there, a little on her lips. I'm going to wet my brush and pick some of this up. Okay, so I'm gonna spread that out on the lips a little bit. If you get lines, you can go back in wet your paintbrush, clean it out, and pick up the edges to smooth it out. Okay, so I'm going to do that again for the other two. up some from the lips. I generally like to have the top lip darker. I'm going to go ahead and go in again. And do that one. Okay. So next, I think I'll do the hair since we're working, I'll work top to bottom that way I don't get anything dirty. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and give them black hair. And I'm going to start with a wash of color, just a wash of the black on each, each head. So it's not going to be solid. It's just going to be um, thin, the thinned out black. Just get a nice solid layer in for the first first layer. Okay, so next one. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all their hair.
Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry a tiny bit. And I see her, this girl's cheek has spread in her face. I'm gonna try to pick up those lines a little bit. Okay, so we'll let that dry. Let's see. Actually, it's it's fairly dry. We'll start start again with her. I'm going to make the black on my brush a little bit thicker. Or pick up, you know, pick up some more paint. And I'm gonna, this. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. I think you can see that pretty good. I'm just going to go around. Make some lines, go with the flow of the hair. Just this. Okay, and we'll go back over it a little bit darker. I'll go back in with my micron pen and do smaller details. And I think her eyes are dry. Oop, I just got her nose turned black. I'll fix that real quick. Just give her a little shadow. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the black, well actually, no, I'll, I'll wait and do that. I'm going to go ahead to the next girl and add some lines in with thicker black. We'll let that dry and next we'll work on the dresses.
Okay, so it's been a little bit since I was working on these and I decided I I just don't like the dresses, the colors. It's probably a reason why I never use them. <laughs> um, so I'm going to paint over those with acrylic paint. But before I do that, I think I'm going to put some details on the face and bring it uh, a little more to life. That may be part of why I don't like it. So I'm going to take uh, my Micron pen. This is a three. You could use a, uh, a number one, a number two, um, .005. I probably wouldn't use bigger than that for the detail since this is so small. Okay, so I'm going to work on uh, one at a time. Make some room. I'll work on her first. And I think I'll do the face first. I'm just going to go around the eye. Add a little pupil in there. Give her some eyebrows. Eyelid. Probably should use an 05. I'm not sure where mine's at. For the tiny, tiny details. I'm barely pushing on this one so that the lines aren't too thick. Go around her, Oop. her hair, and her face. And come around. Mark her chin. Come up and lightly, lightly pushing on this. And I'll make some loose strands. Okay, then we'll do her neck lightly. And I think I'll just stick with the heads for now because I'm going to repaint the dresses. So, next I'll work on her. Just going to go around. Some eyelids, and I'm trying to barely push on this ink pen. There are some eyebrows, there are some nostrils, just lightly, a little under the lip. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around her face.
chin, go up. Come down the neck. And then the hair. Add some more lines in there. Okay, and then we'll get some loose ones in there. So, you can see the difference between you know, these and this one. It livens up their face quite a bit. Alright, so we'll do her. We go around the eye. Get the little corners. And that eyelid and her nose under the lips. And I'll go around her face. Some wispy ones. And come around. Making some curvy lines in there. Use some loose strands. Okay, now we'll do her neck. It's okay to make little mistakes. It, it just makes it look a little more sketchy or sketch-like, which I, I like that. Okay, so we've done their heads.